Okay, we got a rough grouse without a tail. Had a little bit of an issue with it. It didn't quite dry right. So I'm going to do it just like I would, you know, like some people do their turkeys. They'll bondo the tail quills and fan it out and put it on. Uh, that's what I'm going to do here. So basically, just like you do on some strutting turkeys or some turkeys in general, uh, standing even, or even flying. Uh, but what I'm going to do is... Uh, it's going to be just on a smaller scale, but just like you do on a turkey. Well, because this guy lost so many feathers, he's uh, it's not going to be exactly a full fan, but the customer is already aware. He told me just to do the best I can do with it, and so that's what we're, that's what we're doing. Just making sure I get as much, you know, get as much uh, spread as you can out of these feathers. Make sure they overlap like they're supposed to. And spread it. I like to spread them almost as wide as you can. Depending on the pose and what the customer wants, of course. But Okay, I got my fan like about how I want it. I'm going to get these little uh, strips of cardboard. Sometimes I use a little bit of tape with it too. And I'm going to attempt to kind of flatten everything out like how I want it. And then start pinning stuff down without hitting quills if I can keep from it. Just grab a bunch more pins and start pinning things down. There are some little gaps in the feathers that can be preened out later. So I'm not really worried about that. All that bondo off up in there. Uh, I'm, I mean, uh, borax. Yeah, right here are some feather quills. And yeah, if you did a good job with your flesh, and you ought to see the quills, and not much, if any, of that yellow stuff, the fat. And uh, so all right through here is going to get uh, bondo. We've got our tail shaped how I kind of like it. Pretty good fan. Just got a little bit of Bondo, which, hey, that's all you need. I got past the watery stuff with this hardener. So let's give it, that's real Bondo right there. I want it rock hard though. So that ought to be enough. I'm going to put a little coat right on here. There's going to be a lot of feathers that's going to hide everything anyway. So I just want to make sure I've got enough that Bondo on there to begin with. Now, I've got my... Basically, all I did was get 14 gauge wire, bend it around... Put points on the end. I'm going to jab this into the form and stick this right on here like that. Put a little on top. That's going to get hard to work with, but the uh, good thing is, is while it's drying, we can kind of mess around with it a little bit. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Might not be a bad idea to sort of elevate this. Yeah, about like that. Try to make it relatively straight as I can. And uh, Basically, that's about it right there. Okay, here's what I come up with. Um, Got some Bondo and bundled that in from the rear. And then I took the skin back over. And uh, basically, I drilled two holes in the back of the bird, pre fit it. And now we just put a little glue on these, uh, maybe a little Gorilla Glue or something, or Super Glue. 
zap a gap and then push it up in there and it should be pretty well even steaming. So that's what we're gonna do. Well, I'm hoping you can see this. Uh, you might be able to. Um, but you can see some pre-drilled holes. I've got two holes in there that I made. And I'm just going to get to my super glue gel. Get down there in that hole. Squirt some in there. Get down this other hole. Squirt some in there. With my two wing wires. And then I jab it in there. And make it where it's a good fit, not a bad fit. But I jab it up in there as far as it will go. See, you can't see any kind of that red or anything. Well, I think the tail's kind of even. I'm just going to let that sit there for a while. Let the super glue dry. I could have used a little bit of Bondo or some 5-minute epoxy. In hindsight, that would have been a lot, lot faster. I drilled the holes out a little bit bigger than what they needed to be. Uh, allowed me to make a little bit of adjustments. But I think my tail's going to be even. And uh, preen the tail out. Uh, we're not done with him yet. we still got to paint him up and everything. So I'm going to let him dry like that for now. Well, this grouse come out looking pretty good. Uh, this one was a, a a foam body. It was it was one I bought from uh, from the taxidermy supply company. Kind of like the neck pretty good. I think I done pretty good. Uh, now, as far as the body, um, I think I used like maybe a Hungarian partridge body or something. You know, slightly maybe smaller than a rough grouse. Or, or it, heck, it may have been a rough grouse body, or a combination of both of them. <clears throat> but like, now this is a duck body, but you can see it has the indentions where you put your your wires for, like, say, your wings and for your legs. And so, and a lot of times, now the bird body I used for this one, it actually had like both spots like I could have done a standing or a flying and it had both spots for the legs you know the indentions so it takes the guesswork out of it and basically all you need is the length and the diameter just measure the length of the bird body and then the diameter and you're good to go and yeah you know the girth and the biggest part but yeah, just figured I'd show you. This is what one looks like with a with a foam body. Uh, did a little bit better with the neck. The neck wasn't near as big, and uh, so just got on a temporary base.